Well, it's at that point of the season that we need to talk about relegation battle in which three teams are going to be going down this season. Now, being a Chelsea fan, I'm going to get it right off the bat. We are not going down. Now, I know mathematically, we still have a capability of being relegated this season, but mathematically, we still have the possibility of finishing the top five. Now, either one of those is going to happen? No. So we're just going to, again, nix that right now because that is not going to happen. We're going to talk about teams that possibly could get relegated this season. Now, the first one, obviously, we have to talk about is in the last position right now, which is Southampton. Now, Southampton... They have been having a poor season. I, I hate to say it, but they are not going to get out of this big rut that they've been in. And I hate to say it, James Ward-Prowse deserves to be on the better team. I don't know if he's going to stick with Southampton, but they are going down this season. And again, they have some matches that they could possibly win this season, but more likely than not, again, the teams that they have to play is going to be very, very difficult. And I don't see them winning. The teams that they still have to face is Newcastle. They have to play Nottingham Forest, which is a winnable game, but again, they're so deep right now, it's most likely not going to happen. Fulham, Brighton, and Liverpool. Out of all those games, I see them only win one more game, and again, them sitting at 24 points, getting to 27, it's not enough to get out of the relegation zone, and therefore, again, they are going to be my first team that I'm going to select. After that, we are looking at Everton. Now, Everton... This, this is unique because they had such a horrible season last season. Frank Lampard came in and somehow saved this team. And you could argue that maybe they were going to be saved no matter what manager came in. Did not spend really anything this season. Let go over Charleston to Tottenham and really did not improve this team at all. And they are now suffering the consequences of that because this team doesn't really have any capability players to help elevate this team and make them a better squad. And therefore, again, that's why they are going to get relegated as well. And it doesn't matter what Sean Dice can possibly do to this club because really... They're not going to get out. They have 28 points currently right now. They still have to play Leicester, which again is doable. They have to play Brighton, who obviously have been playing very, very well this season. And they're looking to play in Europe next season. So they got a lot to play for. They got Manchester City. We all know how that's going to go. Wolves and Bournemouth. Now, out of all three of those last three games or those three games that they can win, Wolves and Bournemouth are very capable of doing that. But at that point, I think their momentum is going to be just completely shot. And therefore, again, they're not going to have the capability of getting out of that relegation zone. And therefore, they're going to be going down as well with Southampton. More likely than not, they're going to probably finish with like 32 points, maybe 35 at best. But really, this team needs a miracle. And it could still obviously happen. But more likely than not, they are going to get relegated. Now, the last team who I think is going to get relegated is a team that's actually not even sitting in the relegation zone right now. And that happens to be none other than Leeds United. Now, obviously, Obviously, you could look at Nottingham Forest, you could look at Leicester City. These teams all have the capability, but Leeds right now sitting at 30 points, negative 21 differential goal. And I know all these teams have poor differential goals right now because most of these teams, that's the reason why they're down in this zone because they cannot score goals and they're leaking goals all season. But they have to go and play Bournemouth, which again, up in the air, it's still doable. But again, I think Bournemouth is getting better and better as the season's been going on. And therefore, again, I think Bournemouth is going to win that. They have to go play Manchester City. Newcastle, West Ham, and Tottenham. All these teams are playing for something, minus West Ham, but still West Ham have to keep playing well to get, really avoid any type of issues that could really happen. Catastrophic going down, they'd have to lose all their matches and a lot of other things would have to happen. But Leeds, I don't see them getting any more points this season. They're going to be stuck at 30 points, which as we know, 30 points is not going to be enough for them. And therefore, they're also going to be going down this season. So those are my three predictions on the three teams going to get relegated. I want to know what you guys think. So we got Southampton, we got Everton, and Leeds United. Now, obviously, this could all change in a blink of an eye, depending on how each weekend goes. But still, these three teams have been struggling. Yes, you could say that Leicester and uh, Nottingham Forest also been struggling. But both of those teams still have the capability to have the quality players that, again, know what they need to do to stay up in the Premier League. And obviously, Anything can still happen, but those three teams, like I said, just seem to be down and out this season and therefore are going to be relegated. So that is all I have for you today in this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that, and I will see you in our next video.